Welcome to the Atomic Hour. I'm your host, Frank Duffy. We've got a great show tonight, thanks in no small part to the profits we made from the previous episode. You see, it turns out one of the advertisers spent close to a minute shilling their product when they only bought 30 seconds of airtime. They're like the Institute that way. Give them an inch, and they'll take all of the Commonwealth. Point is, we were able to charge him double. Kudos to Jimmy for catching that. You did good, kid. Maybe you really are smart enough to be a synth. In other news, we've also hired a new security guard. Tell him who you are, kid. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minutemen. That's right. We got a bona fide Minuteman protecting us. So whoever it was who stole my bourbon last night, I dare you to try it again. In fact, not only is our security guard armed and dangerous, from what I hear, so is our guest. We'll meet him in a minute. But first, a message from our sponsor. Codsworth, tomorrow is Nora and I's fifth wedding anniversary. According to tradition, I believe my gift should be wood or silverware. That is incorrect, sir. It is neither wood nor silverware. Traditionally, your fifth anniversary gift should be Blomco Mac and Cheese. You're right, Codsworth. It is Blomco Mac and Cheese, which food experts and scientists agree is the tastiest substance in the world. But how will I keep from eating it all myself? I don't know, sir. Better men have tried. I'm sorry, Nate, but I'm leaving you. Is it because I ate all your Blomko mac and cheese? How many times do I have to say I'm sorry? I don't want you to say sorry. I want you to go to the store and buy more gooey, creamy, delicious Blomko mac and cheese. Then I'd like you to go to your room and think about how you can be a better ex-husband. But honey... I spent all our savings on mac and cheese already, including Sean's college fund. How could you do such a thing without first giving your wife a taste? Wait, I have an idea. The neighbors have no children and lots of Blomko. Why don't we trade them Sean for a box? It's not like he has a future now that we spent all his money. Oh honey, that is the most romantic idea you've ever had. I have my moments. Now let's go introduce Sean to his new parents. And our stomachs to a box of Blanco. Welcome back. Tonight's guest is a real badass. Can I say that on TV? Nah. I'm sure Jimmy will bleep it out. In any case, I want you all to give a warm welcome to the Institute's number one Corsa, X688! Wow! That's one hell of an entrance! But please, please sit down. So, how are you feeling? It's taking all of my self-control not to shoot you in the face. Does that answer your question? Hey, now! This is about our first guest. I had no idea that guy was one of yours. That synth was a valuable piece of technology. You're going to have to explain this to Father. What? Can't you just plug him back in? For a bunch of evil super geniuses, you sure have trouble with machines. Anyways, you can tell your father I don't need his handouts. See this desk? I got Nuka Cola money now. And once we win that lawsuit with a soul survivor, every guest from here to D.C. is gonna come begging to be on our show. I think you're overestimating your capabilities. What do you mean? The show's a real hit. To be blunt, you've been a disappointment so far. A disappointment? Our ratings have never been better. Jimmy, how many views did we get last episode? What do you mean, two or three hundred? What about the episode before that? Christ, 
At this rate, we're gonna have trouble keeping the lights on, let alone paying our new security guard. Anyways, if the show is so bad, then why are you here? Wait, you're not here to collect, are you? That thing I said about Jimmy, that was just a joke! This is X688, ready to relay with reclaimed synth B592. It was a joke, you moron! Security! Kill that son of a bitch before he runs up with our stage manager! Hey! Get back here! Get back here right now! Well, that was one hell of a show. Hopefully the Institute will figure out this was all a big mix-up. And Jimmy will be back on stage next week, with all his organs intact. I've also decided to give our security guard one more chance. Can't blame him for running from a corsa, even if he looked like a real coward doing it. Either way, we'll be back next week with another great guest. So be sure to tune in and... Well, guess that's good night. Well, I'm sure all of our audience joins me in wishing for Jimmy's safe and mostly harm-free return. Hang in there, kid. You'll be fine. Though for your sake, I hope they don't do the same kind of probes as the little green men. Ouch! <laughs> Good night, folks! <laughs>